today. NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel should be worried. A full new series of AM4 CPUs, next-gen Battlemage GPUs get benchmarked and hold out on a new GPU because RTX 5000 is on the way. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, if you saw my last video, you know that Qualcomm recently made a really interesting claim about their upcoming Snapdragon X Elite chip made for Windows, specifically that it will actually be able to play most Windows games. He mentioned that only the CPU will see a slight performance dip when running the emulation for their ARM-based processor. Basically, Intel, AMD, and Nvidia have new competition. Well, the upcoming Snapdragon X Elite processor was just shown off in a notebook running Baldur's Gate 3. In this demo, it's at 1080p and is running around 30 FPS. Now, that may not sound like much, but remember, we're talking about an integrated GPU. And in fact, according to some tests that have been seen, it seems to be around the performance of AMD's own Radeon 780M, which is their RDNA 3 based iGPU and AMD's newest 7040 and 8040 APUs. Basically, Qualcomm is coming in strong with their newest chip. With that said, we'll have to see how things go with future future driver updates. We may have a catch-22 issue where updates have been on high sales volume, but gamers don't want to buy until they see how well they handle driver updates. One way I think Qualcomm can really make a big splash is to come in strong with a great price. Fingers crossed. Next up for today, you're not going to believe this, AMD recently announced an entire new series of CPUs for their AM4 platform. That's right, AMD still isn't done with their AM4 boards, making it one of the longest lasting sockets I've seen in a very long time. Remember that AMD already launched four new processors along their 8000G APUs. Well, if you saw my recent video on their 8000F series release, to which if you didn't, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you can be the first to learn about all the best PC hardware news. Either way, that announcement was made in China just a few days ago. But something I didn't notice at the time is that they also announced the 5000 XT series of CPUs as well. Unfortunately, we don't have too much information on these, but they did release a 3000 XT series, which were essentially a refresh with 1 to 200 megahertz higher clocks. So now it's looking like they're doing it again for Zen 3 processors. We currently don't have information on which CPUs will be released, plus given the fact that these were announced in China, there's no guarantee that they're coming to other countries. But don't lose hope, because it could just be announced there first. All in all, AMD has more than kept their promise to continue support for the AM4 platform. And if they do the same with AM5, it could really prove to gamers that AMD is the way to go if you want a system that you can upgrade for years to come. And next up, Intel's Arc Alchemist GPUs were released a couple years ago. And while they weren't among the most powerful GPUs out there, Intel seems to have put quite a bit of work into driver updates since the release. Well, it's about time for their next generation Battle Mage architecture. And with that, two new GPUs were recently benchmarked. As you can see right here, we have two SciSoft benchmarks, which are reportedly of Battlemage GPUs. Starting things off, the first benchmark shows a GPU with 20 XE cores or 160 EUs with a clock speed of 1.8 GHz and 12 GB of VRAM. Then we have a GPU with 24 XE cores or 192 EUs and once again clocked at 1.8 GHz with 12 GB of VRAM. Of course, these are likely very early samples, but when we look at the performance score, we can see that Intel's Alchemist GPUs are quite a bit faster. Though these do have more cores, so this isn't the best comparison, but ultimately, if there isn't a huge change here, we may not see that big of a performance jump over last gen. At 1.8 GHz, it's a slight bump over the A580's 1.7 GHz, which is a decent comparison given the A580 also comes with 24 XE cores. If anything, this makes me more concerned about Intel's future in discrete graphics. I mean, if they aren't able to to challenge higher end GPUs this time around, I think some users will begin to lose faith. Of course, this was always going to be a long battle, but let's not forget that a ton of Intel's GPU staff have left the company, including their GPU head, Raja Kaduri. Still, Intel is clearly working on their next-gen cards, so maybe this is simply too soon to say. I guess time, as always, will tell. 
And lastly for today, you may want to wait before buying an NVIDIA GPU, because their next gen 5000 series is already on the way. This story originally comes from Quasar Zone and later reported by WCCF Tech. And according to South Korean insiders, NVIDIA has informed their partners that they would begin drastically lowering shipments of their RTX 40 cards so they can start to prepare for the launch of their RTX 5000 series. Meaning if this is right, NVIDIA is about to start lowering production of their current generation of GPUs, because they obviously don't want to have a ton of stock left when their next generation Blackwell is released, or they'd obviously have an overstock issue and need to significantly significantly lower prices. According to this, NVIDIA is planning to release their next-gen cards in the second half of this year, meaning they could release next-gen even sooner than we thought. Of course, you may be a little surprised given NVIDIA just released their Super variants, but according to this, the Super cards haven't been selling all that well, which might explain why NVIDIA could be rushing to get these out even sooner. Either way, it's looking like they're not too far off, so make sure you stick to GamerMeld to find out more about their next-gen GPU. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for NVIDIA's RTX 5000 series, or are you just worried about their price? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And as always, have a great day!